Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited about this tutorial. Not only because I get to create something that I was inspired by, by someone that I absolutely look up to, but also because I get to use some of my digital graphic designs. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, I have returned back to college to work on my second bachelor's degree and it is in graphic designs. So I get to use some of the skills and techniques that I have learned uh, using Photoshop and Illustrator to create this graphic design sheet. Uh, I use, of course, Illustrator to be able to create my tabs and the ticket, um, and of course, Photoshop to do the other stuff. But I am super excited about this because, as I said, I get to use some of my favorite Bible verses. And for those of you guys that don't know, I have accepted the Lord as my Savior. And so this is something that is uh, a new journey in my life, and I'm so excited to be able to share these things with you guys. I was speaking to Miss Penny, and Miss Penny shared her favorite Bible verse, so I added it here. It's Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. Call on to me, and I will answer you, and will show you great things and difficult which you don't know. So that's a really strong, powerful message, and I really like that. So I said, Miss Penny, we're going to use that, and we are. I've also used Psalms 23, Proverbs 16:3, um, First Chronicle chapter 4, verse 10, which is the Jabez prayer, which I absolutely, absolutely love as well. So I'm really excited about this. Now this is only going to be available. For those that purchase the junk journal kit that my daughter is going to be releasing this week, I have been working uh, diligently on the graphics for that um, in between classes and, of course, my daily life. So I am hoping to have all the graphics done by tomorrow. If not, it will be done completely by the end of the week. I can promise you that. Now, she had 10 kits available. Five have already pre-sold, so there's only five kits left and they're gonna have these there so this is gonna be awesome I love 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 how they turned out and of course my um, inspiration was from Judy Dominguez and if you guys don't know her you guys need to check her out because she is very 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 talented and I am very blessed to be able to uh, call her my friend and mentor and she's super talented so I was on the phone with her and I was letting her know what I was up to and she says, you know, I've been working on some embellishments for her albums too. And I said, what are you making? She says, I am making some popsicle stick embellishments. And I'm like, huh. And I kept thinking back when we were in kindergarten, you know, and you made some cute little things, ornaments and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, what are you making? <laughs> Let me see. So she sent me over a picture and I fell in love and I'm going to show you what she made. This is hers. It's so cute. I love the way she takes all the tattered stuff and she just piles it up. She is so wonderful with um, layering. That's why I said you can, you can paint it and stamp right on it. You can decoupage it with um, wallpaper or take some tissue paper and stamp designs onto it and then decoupage it onto the popsicle stick. Or you can take some random scraps of paper and just glue it on and start attaching all your scraps of laces. So the best part about this project is that you do get to use your scraps of laces. And that um, is that to me is awesome because that gives us the opportunity to use up what we have already in our little stashes so we're not going out splurging on other little things that we don't need. So this whole entire project is creating things with our scraps. So the first thing that you're going to do is, of course, you're going to print out your sheet. You're going to either fussy cut this or you're going to use your Cricut, your brother Scan and Cut, or your Silhouette, whichever machine you have, if you know how to operate them. Um, and you're going to cut these out. And once you have those cut out, you're going to distress your... Um, your graph or your paper and I like to go deep around the edges with vintage photos or whatever ink that you choose to use now these have a verse and a design 
you're going to take your verse and put it in the back of the design, whichever verse you want, which whichever design you want. So once you have your verse, you're going to take the verse, start, and glue it towards the bottom. The bottom. So that way you can start embellishing, embellishing up on the top. And on this one here, you see, again, the verse starts from the bottom up. And I just use scraps of cheesecloth. I have a piece of metal that I distress, buttons and scraps of laces and whatever I had laid around. On this one, I did the same thing, but I added a piece of an earring. I pierced a hole on the top, and I attached a piece of an earring that I had laying around here. And that goes in the back just like that. And then you turn it around this way. And this is a piece of um, bling that I got gifted to me from Young Sue, along with this little applique. And the other are just scraps of stuff that I had here on my desk and a little image of a girl that I had already pre-sewn. So that's basically what it is. It's very simple. And these can go just like so on your book or your Bibles, whatever you want to use, your albums, your junk journals. And here's one that I have on my Proverbs. And it sticks out just like that. Let me just pop it in. This one, I have um, a piece of metal that was, again, gifted to me by Young Sue. I have distressed it and um, put some rust effects to it and then I had glued in some crocheted doily buttons and more of the scraps of stuff I had laying on my desk and so again verse starts at the bottom and you go up and then you can just do that now on this one here you can see I sandwiched in a piece of cheesecloth all the way in so basically I glued the cheesecloth, then I glued the paper on top. So that's how I did that one. So very easy and very simple to do. All right. So these, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned it because I'm a little bit cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> I, this is going to be available um, through a, a junk journal kit that my daughter is um, going to be releasing. I am working on putting the finishing touches in between classes of the other embellishment that goes on that kit as far as designs and once I work on that hopefully by the end of this week I will have her release the kit but she had 10 of them available but five have already pre-sold so she only have technically speaking only five kits available and they're gonna be full of all kinds of goodies they got the graphic designs that I've made they've got embellishments uh, little pieces of trims and laces and stuff she's throwing in there guys and it's gonna have your fabric and I'll show you what she selected okay it'll have so it's gonna look like this this is the outside fabric and I love it because it looks boho and then this is and you can probably even use this side if you want because it looks so boho and then it'll have this on the inside cover and then you'll create your journal and you'll attach all your pages that comes in that kit so it's going to be really really um, a cool kit that she's she's even going to be creating one because she's gotten into this so super excited that she's getting into crafting I love that I love the love 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 the fact that she's getting into crafting so once you have this already cut out and you go ahead and take your distressing distress the edges with it or some of the Tim Holtz stain and get the edges done and glue it on with whatever glue that you want to use. I would suggest wet glue instead of hot glue for this and then you want to burnish that in really really well. Once you have that done if you want to pierce a hole pierce your hole so that you can attach any embellishments and I like to um, go around the corners really deep with my distressing just to give it that nice burnt crisp look so once you have those done in this kit you have these little tickets and it has John 316 and um, I've done this distressing around the edges and here's another little verse and this one not a verse but it's just a phrase love Jesus with all your heart 
And again, like I said, I go around the corners, get those really good. And I'm using vintage photos and just go around just like so. I like the burnt look. Now I do the back because that's going to be sticking out and I want to make sure that all my T's are crossed and my I's are dotted, guys. It's just how I am. Okay. That done. And I pre-done a lot. I'm going to use this. I have this little piece of scrap here from Tim Holtz collection. I'm just going to go ahead and use that because, you know, I can. It's just sitting here. So it's telling me, use me. Use me, May. And so we are. We're going to use it because we don't want to waste stuff, right? It's sitting on my desk. So therefore, we shall use it. Again, I'm going to do the back. And I like doing these little corners really burnt. And these little blending brushes are available on my Amazon affiliate affiliate program. And you can click on the link below. It will take you to it and you can purchase these. These are really great for blending. I love them. All right. So We'll take our Craft Tacky Glue, and I love my Craft Tacky Glue. I prefer it because it's a very good PVA glue. And if you guys um, go to MyRustyCrown.com, Martina sells some of this stuff. And if you don't see it in there, just give her a, send her a message on Facebook, and she will get you a bottle of that stuff and it's awesome it's great for paper it won't warp it um, it's very affordable it's like less than three bucks I think for a bottle um, and so it looks like that see I did the ticket in the back as well less than three bucks for a dollar it's great for uh, chipboard paper it is just an awesome glue and it dries pretty fast and I love 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 this glue Okay, so we got that. And again, let's double check. Verse starting at the bottom. So go this way. I'm going to grab some cheesecloth. Let's see, I thought I had some here. Let's go with this here. There. Let's grab some more because I like to go extra. there. Grab some hot glue. Where's my little? Right there. I'm going to go ahead and attach this just like down here. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue there. Make sure I clean that before I finish out here. there and what else I'm going to take some of this because because I like it a button let's use a button a button I have, oh, we have this. This is the leftover scraps from hoping to find something similar for my Santa that I have not, so I need to save some of that. I have this. I don't want to cover too much of that, but. Just build on, you know. That's just what it is. It's building on with different elements and stuff that you have. And I guess build, build, build. It's the best way to do it. Gonna find a piece of this here. Mm 
make a little small tassel. And that's the neat thing about this. Using scraps and leftover pieces of stuff to make something wonderful. So let me probably put that there, just like so. And then we have this little image. And you could probably use, you can probably move the tag up if you don't want to put all this stuff in there. Again, I pre-do these little things, sew them up just to give it more character. And I do it before ahead of time. I have a whole stack of them so that it's like a little miniature assembly line. I do the back so that we can get these pretty much this dress as well. Clean that up. Okay, we got that. We'll have this here just like that. Let's move some of this here so we can see some of it. All right bring some of the color of the pink from that and I just tear this little piece up and I'm probably going to stick that there so let's glue let's glue because I like that I like that glue and I I always try to first determine what do I want to do how do I want to go go about it before I even glue I make sure I look to see if it's I it's appealing to the eye and if it is then I go for it and I start gluing this one probably did not get any glue in it It's all about that composition and all about, all right, so that's going to go there. I like that look right there. And remember, we have that little temple paper as well, so we're going to probably put that there. Composition again, and voila, right smack there. Back. It looks good, looks good, looks good. Okay. Pick up, can you pick up anything? All right, looks good. All right, that looks good. Let's refuel on the glue because. We need some glue, right? All right. Let's get this one out. Okay, and then I'm going to put this here. And I have these little scraps that I've been tearing up, and I'm going to probably use let's see I got a big button a big old button in the middle just like so and then what I do is I take this one and take these little scraps and make like a little tiny bow And then I take a small, smaller button and pop it in the center. And that is a beautiful little bookmark. And voila. And if I want, I can probably, see I have more little scraps here, guys. <laughs> I could probably 
go right there. So yeah, we're going to do that. Still got my little scrap buffer. And there we go. And I think I like the way that turned out. I think it turned out really awesome. And so then that's ready for a book. And that is just how simple you can create some fabulous popsicle stick bookmarks for your journals, your albums, your Bible, or whatever you want to use it. So, uh, Check out Mrs. Judy Dominguez's Facebook and see all the amazing stuff she creates. And uh, let her know that I told you guys about her. And, and if you have any questions for me, feel free to send me a message. Okay? Till next time, guys. Bye-bye. Take care.